Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Magic Orthodoxy. If you don't know your way around here, my name's David and I do magic reviews. That's what I do. So hopefully you like magic tricks or you like playing cards or you like magic reviews or maybe you like giveaways because I do magic giveaways too. I do playing card giveaways all the time, all the time, either between this channel or my Instagram channel. So make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. You might even want to subscribe to my Instagram too, especially if you like giveaways, because I, like I said, I do giveaways all the time. So do me a favor, like and subscribe. Let's talk about a magic book. It's Friday. I said that for the next couple of Fridays, I would do a magic book review every Friday, and it's Friday. So I figure, you know what? Keep going, make good on my promises, right? Today we're gonna to talk about the magic book from Ryan Chandler. All right, so Ryan Chandler. If you don't know who Ryan Chandler is, he was on Fool Us. You might remember uh, he came out with a little sound mixer and he had Allison record her name and like Teller recorded some little ting ting on a triangle and then uh, Penn played a pink stand up bass and he made like this little song. Remember that? Okay, that's Ryan Chandler. He's also a musician. If you go out to his YouTube channel, uh, he's got some guitar work out there as well. So yeah, musician, creator, inventor, magician, Ryan Chandler. What Magic Book is, is it's a magic book, right? It's a magic book, just like it says. I mean, it's kind of funny in that it's black and it says magic book across the front, but that's only because this magic book serves another purpose. Not only can you buy this book and learn three really cool stage tricks, which you can, but you can actually use the magic book up on stage as a prop. That's right. This book serves a dual purpose. You can learn from it, learn tricks, but then also take it up on stage with you and use it as a picture force. And the reason why it's black and doesn't have any, you know, picture or anything like that on it. And the reason why it just says magic book is because, you know, your spectator is going to stand on stage. They're going to hold it. And Ryan knew people will go home after your show and they will try to Google how you did something. And so if the book just says magic book, how are people going to Google magic book, right? Anything could come up. So that was pretty sneaky, pretty clever on Ryan's part. So this is 93 pages, 93 page book, and you're getting three tricks inside the book. All right. So what are you going to learn? Uh, the first two tricks are card tricks. First two tricks are card. Well, they're all card tricks. They're all card tricks, but the third trick has a little bit more involved to it. Uh, the first trick is called grab bag. In grab bag, you have three spectators and each one of them gets a free selection of a deck. Not, there's no force there. Uh, all three selections are then returned to the deck, lost in the deck. And then you bring out a bag, you bring out a bag. The entire deck goes in the bag. The bag is shook up you then reach in and pull out the three different selections. So that's stage effect number one. Second trick you get in this book is called Smoke and Mirrors. In Smoke and Mirrors, it's almost the same trick, but a little different. Uh, you have two spectators, and then uh, they are brought up on stage. Each one of them gets a free selection. Cards are returned to the deck, and then the deck goes in the magician's mouth. Deck goes in the magician's mouth, and the magician plays it like a trumpet. And as they're playing, making little noty notes come out, uh, one card magically slides out as, as the selection. It's like, boom, there's one card. And then when the second spectator says what their card is, it magically appears as if by mirror from the backside of the other card. So they magically po both pop out. Okay. So that's the second trick. Third trick is called mental picture. Mental picture is the trick that you're going to use the book with in connection with up on the stage. And so mental picture is a much longer trick. I'm not going to describe all of it. 
But it basically involves going out into the audience, having cards selected, having a spectator up on stage, they select a picture from the book. So the book has multiple different like random drawings, pictures to choose from. They select a picture. And then the cards that the people in the audience have freely selected, uh, the magician is able to mentally bridge those choices with the picture that the person on stage has chosen. So there's a connection between the cards that are chosen in the audience and the picture that's chosen up on stage. And then it all ends with another mental trick where the spectator then just divines any one card out of the deck. And that's the one card in the deck that's turned upside down. So again, three stage tricks, three card stage tricks. The last trick you can use the book with you up on stage. Positives, what are the positives I can say? Uh, with Magic Book, you get a tool that is more than meets the eye. With this book, you not only learn three fun stage routines, plus you can take it on stage with you as an ingenious prop. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives? I tried to find some negatives, but I, I really can't. You know, it's three tricks for 25 bucks. It's not an expensive book. It's not an expensive prop. True, you're not getting a lot of tricks, but you're getting three. Three for 25 bucks, three fun stage tricks, and I think they would work uh, in a lot of different settings. You could do these three tricks as kids magic. You could. Uh, you could do this as kids party magic. The drawings and the book itself are so uh, ingeniously done that this could easily be a child's trick. But you could also just do this as parlor or stage for adults too. So I think the tricks don't have an age to them. And I think when some people need, I just need one more trick to fill in for my stage routine, um, sometimes a trick like this is priceless because it's a nice beat in between two other tricks. And so Ryan's giving you three tricks, three card magic stage tricks for $25. And there's black and white pictures, photographs of every single trick he's, uh, that he's covering. So they're cute. They're, it's, it's totally worth your money. It's a good value on this. Definitely wanna pick this up if you do stage magic. Um, that's kind of where it, it kind of has to stay. I think this is, this is stage magic, parlor magic for certain. But like I said, doesn't matter for what age. All right, so that's everything I can say about Magic Book from Ryan Chandler. Of course, I wanna thank Ryan and I wanna thank Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it wherever quality magic books or tricks are sold. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye.